Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're going to do some grilling. Why is that? It's grilling season. Memorial Day is the start of really grill, uh, unofficial uh, day of summer. So let's do something that's simple that you can do in advance and you can enjoy on the grill. Because my whole concept is you cannot be a servant at your own event. You need to be a guest at your own event so you can entertain. Next, what I'm going to do, I have some bell peppers here. Green, red, and yellow. You eat with your eyes first, so make sure that is a part of your preparation of flavors. If you don't have it, it is not the end of the world. Just use green, yellow, or red, whichever you have. Some red onion that has been sliced, and I'm going to do the same with uh, eggplant. We're going to place these here. Why? We're going to use this plate for oiling and seasoning our vegetables before we start the grilling season. Next, also a lemon cut in half. We got it here. Drizzle of olive oil, just a little bit, and you're going to see what I mean. You see, you always have to do things for a reason in the kitchen. And we do not want to put too much oil because we want that charring to happen. With your spatula, spread the oil on the surface. Put it down. The same here. Put it down. The same everywhere else on all the other ingredients. And we put them on the grill pan. I, unfortunately, do not have a grill, unfortunately, do not have a grill yet in my kitchen right now here on Fox, but we will shortly. We're working on it. And the red onion. Let the beauty of this grilling and the smokiness and the earthiness happen here. Let the vegetables do their thing. What are we going to do with these vegetables? We're going to create a grilled salsa, creating one layer of components and flavor based more than just salsa alone by itself. Next, we're dealing with a little bit of mako shark here. We also call it mako or mako. And it has the formation very much like a tuna in every way, if you can see it right here. And you see those beautiful lines? We call this a loin fish. It comes in a loin and it has layers one after another. What I want to do here is I want to take these spices of turmeric, cloves, a little bit of cayenne, we have some garlic powder and we have some mustard and paprika. And we're going to put the whole thing in here. You can use flour as usual. Those of my friends that are gluten intolerant, you use rice flour or cornstarch if you wish. Mix this all together. Go back on that same plate. You don't need to make another plate dirty. Then look at this. You hold the plate and just shake the plate and allow the mixture of spices cover the entire thing. We're going to do the same thing as we did with the vegetables and we're going to drizzle a little bit of oil here on this surface of the fish. Why are we doing this? Again, to create a wet surface. Spread it out evenly. A little bit of sea salt. Pure sea salt. All salts are sea salt, everybody. So you ask for pure sea salt or you buy one that says pure sea salt on it. The wet side down into the spice mixture. Now we're going to do the same thing with the other side. A little bit. Oh, this shark is so fresh. It is beautiful. And you're going to see the trick that I'm going to do here. Basically, we are blackening it. And we're going to let this baby sit here and absorb some of those flavors of the spice. When we come back, what I'm going to do for you, I'm going to blacken that. And we're going to finish it on the grill. And this is the whole concept of preparing things in advance and you enjoying it later. But if it's grilling 